Hey Alpha fam, welcome back to another episode of Alpha Commission. Today on Alpha Commission, I'm actually going to go over an altcoin, uh, Chili's uh, CHZ, uh, which has just been pumping and holding incredible strength while the uh, rest of the market has been going down. And of course, uh, Chili's is a fan token, and it is related to uh, sports teams. There is the World Cup going on. And so let's just examine this altcoin. Uh, well, what you can see is that while we did have just a tremendous pump since this thing was originally somewhere around a one cent it, it skyrocketed all the way up to approximately uh, 95 cents almost a 100 X right and uh, this thing has just been coming down the entire time but there's no reason to necessarily be bearish about it in the long run just because it continues to come down it just was extremely overheated and if we do take a look at some of my analysis uh, you can see that we do have just on the uh, surface level uh, this uh, macro structure, which is a uh, you know this uh, falling wedge here. Now this falling wedge uh, that tends to have a, a measured move to the upside. So this is actually a fairly uh, bullish pattern uh, once you do break out on top of it. Uh, there is a little bit of a buffer room for some type of, uh, you know, perhaps a fake out up here uh, due to this uh, kind of inconsistency uh, with the uh, wicks. But, uh, you know, just assuming that we get above this a second uh, line, uh, which should run parallel to this one, then I think uh, we're pretty safe. Now, we could also take a, uh, a diagonal like this, but that's very odd. We could take one like this and suggest that we actually have already broken out, and that is possible. But if you do that, then you also have to consider this one as having already broken out. Out. And then, you know, you just you can have an infinite regression of how you look at these things. So really, I'm just trying to look at this a macro structure, not any one particular uh, fall on this chart. And so what I really want to see is uh, Chili's to essentially break out above uh, 35 cents. If Chili's can break out above 35 cents and hold on to this level up here, then it will look like it's having a, a macro change as long as we're inside of this falling triangle there's always the risk that we can come back to the bottom of the falling triangle just like we had a nice pump up here and then came back we had a nice pump came back right we could be having a nice pump and then we could come back so let's take a look at the uh, support and resistances that we do have on Chili's uh, just to uh, understand where those lines may be well I've identified these uh, key areas and so uh, I've just set uh, zones to make it a little bit uh, uh, more uh, visually organized as it is just confusing to see a whole bunch of lines. So this is my style for uh, support and resistance. And you can see that we do have good support somewhere around $0.05, cents, somewhere around uh, $0.10, cents, somewhere around uh, $0.15. Cents. We have this little kind of mid zone around uh, $0.21. Cents. We have uh, this resistance resistance up here around 30 cents and then we have some uh we have an area over here around 38 cents, which could be also uh, just some type of uh, mid zone. Uh, we do have another mid zone around here around 44 cents. Uh, one, uh, we have a solid resistance around uh, 54 cents, another solid resistance around uh, 68 cents. And then I would say, uh, you know, this uh, chart pretty much tops out at 80 cents, even though we did get that wick up to 95 cents, uh, you know, that area is uh, slightly ambiguous uh, to the rest of the pattern. Uh, so let's go ahead and just to see if we can find any other patterns that might take us in a bullish direction here. And sure, I can find one right away. Uh, what I see is an inverted head and shoulders. So these inverted head and shoulders, uh, they do tend to have a, a measured move uh, to the upside. And you can kind of see one over here. It's a little bit more uh, janky, but if I do draw it out, uh, you will see what I'm uh, looking at right, right there. And so, uh, you know, this thing has had a history of head and shoulders. And sure enough, uh, the uh, measured move for uh, this one right here 
uh, did play out to the uh, upside, all right, where you did get a, a limitation over here right at this uh, triangle. And so, yes, uh, this one could also have a breakout that does take us outside of this uh, falling wedge. And if it does, then uh, we can be talking about potentially uh, higher targets uh, for chilies. But so long as we're inside of the wedge, we have to understand that there is also the possibility that heads and shoulders can fail. And a, a failed head and shoulders would itself uh, have a, a measured move uh, to the downside. So you can see the measured move to the upside is a nice 50% uh, here. A measured move to the downside, you know, it could be 85% or uh, perhaps even more. It could take us under Underneath this wedge, maybe even a fake out, uh, because I could put this uh, uh, this measured move here, right, which comes from the head of the head and shoulders on top of the uh, right shoulder, and that would suggest a breakdown, even as far as almost uh, worthless, okay, almost like uh, nothing. Um, I'm I don't think that's going to happen. I think this coin is finding use case, and so I am of the perspective that uh, probably the um, probably the wedge will be respected. And if this thing does come down, my thoughts are it probably won't come down below four cents. That's just uh, my opinion. And so if I do set up some uh, buy and sell zones, uh, you can see that my lowest one here is going to be at uh, four cents. Now, uh, if we do break out of this triangle, of course, we could have the measured move on the uh, head and shoulders, but then we could also have a pullback to the uh, trend line and a uh, measured move off of the, uh, you know, this falling wedge itself would be approximately 300 and let's just say 50%, uh, which would put us somewhere around that 80 cents zone. So let's go ahead and throw um, our, uh, you know, buy points on here, uh, get our support and resistances back up. And you can see that we had a nice little buy level here. That buy level may be important in the future if we do pump out of this triangle and we have a pullback. Uh, we could have a, a nice buying opportunity around that same level that could uh, then take it on a massive pump. If we do have a failure on this head and shoulders, the measured move would be down here around 50 cents. And uh, if we just have a minor pullback, then uh, somewhere around uh, 22 to 23 cents would be uh, possibly a good opportunity. Just understanding there's a risk that you can fall back into this uh, triangle. Of course, this is not uh, financial advice. I'm just uh, setting up these things in theory for uh, education. Of course, being that we are currently at, our, at a price that is against the uh, macro uh, downtrend here on the Chili's uh, falling uh, wedge, uh, this is actually a good place to take your profit if you did buy in at these lower levels. Uh, this would be an excellent place to take profit. Uh, there is the possibility that we keep pumping to this level and then we get rejected. Just like that kind of fake out area that's kind of goes along with this week. And uh, um, you might want to, uh, you know, get rid of your position at that point just in case the market turns on you, If we, even if we do break out of this. But if you're holding, then you can pretty much expect that the measured move of the inverted head and shoulders would play out uh, somewhere around here, around a 44 to 45 cents, and then likely a pullback to this trend line as we discussed uh, previously to a 22, maybe 16 cents, etc. Uh, guys, uh, that is going to be your analysis of Chili's. I can't really say uh, whether or not uh, we're going to pump right now. Of course, um, you know, the market is in a pretty tenuous position. Uh, the World Cup is coming up. And so, um, you know, a lot of people who are investing in these kind of sports fan tokens, they may just want to be taking their profit. And so be wa uh, watch out for a, a sell the news moment uh, during the World Cup. Whereas, uh, you know, everyone's been buying this token as it leads up to the World Cup. Uh, there might be a sell the news. So buy the rumor, sell the news. If you've ever heard of that, that expression. It's just a common uh, trading pattern. And you can see uh, inside of this uh, inverted head and shoulders, there is kind of a smaller head and shoulders that does exist there. 
And that in itself, I mean, maybe we can uh, discount this, um, you know, this kind of extreme candle right here. Uh, you can see that it is a fairly uh, valid head and shoulders as long as we get over this area. And the measured move for that one uh, might be what plays out in the uh, short run. And that one would take us up to this midline right here, approximately uh, 37 to 38 cents. So I do have this uh, sell box over here, just because this has, has been a fairly strong resistance zone. But, you know, we could suggest that there might even be one more sell point where it just kind of wicks through up here and then comes back down perhaps to the bottom of the triangle, right? Some type of like a real fake out. And then that number would be approximately uh, 37, uh, you know, to uh, 37 and a half cents, somewhere around there. You can see some type of a move sort of like this one that would come down. That's at the same horizontal. Uh, guys, going to wrap it up there for uh, Chili's. Hope that helps you uh, with your trades. Uh, that's your alpha for the day. Stay safe and happy trading.